Have you ever wondered what exactly makes these house helpers smart? They can connect to Wi-Fi and connect all of your home smart devices for coordinated activity. You don't have to keep track of each gadget individually, including lights, fans, heaters, cameras, thermostats, and more, which might take a lot of time. All you have to do to create a seamless atmosphere that encourages functionality and digital zen is to centralize every peripheral with the smart home assistants. Before we reveal the 10 amazing home assistant automation ideas to try right now, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this one. Number 10, light sensors. Phones, sensors, and lights are used. You can do these several ways, but we'll explain ours and suggest another. First, picking up your phone from the wireless charger activates the lamp. It runs from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., so it's not always triggered. When your bedroom door opens, the following automation is initiated. Your bed lamp shuts off when the door light comes on. The lights down the hall and outside your door turn on after a few seconds. We ran the automation and walked down the hall to observe if the lights turned on or off too quickly. When the light switch is switched off late at night, another automation turns the lights on and off using the same delay. Amazon routines work too. Add a wait between on and off. You must work around the five second minimum. Number nine, empty the vacuum reminder. We also installed a reminder light to remember to empty the robot vacuum bin. We just switched on a morning when the automation runs because we have set up an automation to start the vacuum after everyone leaves. You can start a routine when you depart using an Alexa routine. You could turn on the light and create a robotic vacuum for the tasks. You can also begin with the Alexa routine with smart things and a virtual switch. By doing so, you'll be able to create a vacuum while several people are not around, since only one device can activate an Alexa routine at a time. Number 8. Thermostat Visitor Mode Toggle a virtual input switch on or off to determine whether a visitor is present. You can accomplish that via a calendar event, an IKEA button, or the app. Considering that we have Echo B thermostats, we included another setting for visitor comfort. Then, we developed automation activated each time the visitor input virtual switch is turned on. Thanks to the automation, the thermostat is now set to the visitor's comfort level. Number 7. Tablet Theater Control Using Amazon Routines, we design buttons for your tablet remote that operate the various lights in the space. However, it has to do with importing the Casa Light Strip scenes into Alexa. The Casa scene in Alexa routine can then be activated. Adding a few lines to your config file will allow us to connect our Amazon Fire Stick to Home Assistant. The lights can then be turned on or off when you pause or play something on them. Number 6. Wake Up Shades The shades are initially automated to 15% open. There are two uses for this. The first one is to start waking you up, and the second one has to do with when you take up your phone from the wireless charger. You may simply schedule automation to run daily or every morning during the week to complete the first step. We have Lutron Serena Shades, which you could automate if you wanted to in a similar way using an Alexa routine. If you want to be a little more sophisticated, you might want to use a Google Calendar event to open those blinds first. It is not necessary to create multiple iOS shortcut automations for each phone charging scenario. Instead, just make two. One to use when your phone begins charging and another to use when it is finished. Have them use Home Assistant to turn a virtual switch on or off to monitor the status of your phone's charging. Your iOS shortcuts will be created and that saves time. Number 5. Bathroom Motion Lights We are only using a motion sensor and a few smart light switches for the motion sensor set up in the bathroom. Suppose you wanted an Echo Flex with more sensor possibilities for future automation. In that case, you could use one in your bathroom and a motion sensor. This one from AOTech can be plugged in and includes built-in light and humidity sensors. 
There are numerous automation settings and they are all relatively straightforward. Depending on the time of day, one can switch the lights from motion to various brightnesses. It's enjoyable late at night when the lights are dim. For this to work, you must establish many routines using Alexa routines, one for the daytime and one for the night, respectively. You can add a condition to the Automation's action section if you utilize a feature called WebCore in SmartThings or Home Assistant. It will be better organized if everything is kept in one automation. The lights will only be switched off if the intelligent vent switch is off after two minutes of no motion detection by the motion sensor. Basically, if nobody is taking a shower. When the shower light switch is turned on, a different automation turns on the vent. In this manner, the vent won't unintentionally be left off when taking a shower. This actually depends on the vent if the shower light is turned on or the shower light if the vent is turned on. It will use either trigger as there are two of them. Additionally, as a failsafe, if the vent is kept on for longer than two hours, all the lights will be turned off. Number four, NFC Tag Playlist. We have a whole NFC tag set up for music in the shower. Your phone reads this NFC tag using the iOS Shortcuts app, which activates a Home Assistant automation. Very much like the wake-up procedure we explained earlier. The automation executes a Spotify playlist shuffle Amazon routine. To start this Amazon routine, we use the Alexa Media Player and Home Assistant, which works perfectly. The content ID in the Home Assistant call is a random shuffle, also the Alexa routine's name. Number three, Calendar Busy Light. You might want to utilize a button push if you use a tool like Alexa Routines. Since using Home Assistant is the only method to get Google Calendar to function with your smart home. It requires a few steps to link your Google Calendar to the Home Assistant, but once that's done, everything is straightforward. You need to add only a few items to the Google Calendar YAML file. What's it called? You can give it whatever name you wish. The title of the calendar event will then be searched for. With this calendar integration, you can accomplish much so we believe it's worth the initial setup time. Number two, Clever Lights Power Outage Fix. It can be challenging to program bright lights to switch off when the power goes out and then on again. Light cannot simply be automated to turn off if it comes on in the middle of the night. The smart home hub is still starting when the power is turned back on, but the intelligent light bulb is already on. Therefore, this is what you must do. Make automation that executes periodically. Use Home Assistant's time pattern to repeat every five minutes, only at night, and we'll simply switch off all the bright light bulbs if one of your LIFX lights is on. Again, while not ideal, this is a workable band-aid repair for lights that aren't powered on. Number one, play music everywhere notification. You can really benefit from notifications for your smart home. A handy feature is adding buttons to Home Assistant to start automation right from the notification. You could still create something useful if you wanted to use an Alexa routine. Establish two routines, one that periodically notifies your phone via a notice. Allow the notice to provide you with the voice command for subsequent procedure. Make music everywhere and make the second routine a voice command trigger. In this manner, remembering what to say is simple. Only one action is required to trigger the notice, but for this to function, your phone must have the iOS or Android Home Assistant app loaded. The data part is thus crucial. The action will be something specific you need to remember for the future, and the title will be the button's name. Then we developed another automation activated when you click the notification button. An automation trigger is an event with the event type iOS notification action fired. The action name with the distinctive name we wrote in the prior automation is then required in the data. Ensure that they are identical. Then a Spotify playlist is simply played across all speakers. For this, we are creating an Alexa routine to play everywhere through the Alexa media player. The Alexa routine screen photo above shows the content ID, the name we gave the Alexa routine, music everywhere. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. 
and I'll personally reply to your comment. See you next time.